my name is Allie and welcome to my channel. So we're back with Hakuoki and I hope I can read this time and not end up having issues um, <laughs> like I have been for the past few vid videos. So we'll just see, hopefully. I think it's more the voices that give me trouble, but that's okay. We'll try something. Oh, of course, I gotta start out with a hiccup. Okay. Well, he probably saw something, but I doubt he really understands what it was. Even so, oh, even so, this is serious. We have bigger things to consider. We have to keep this under wraps. If rumors, br I think it, his voice was lower. If rumors break that soldiers of the Shinsengumi are thirsty for blood, it would be problematic. Shinpachi's words make sense to everyone. Hijikata's face looked grim. Hey, watch your mouth. It is our responsibility to regulate all warriors who violate our code. They will be dealt with. Well, it doesn't change the fact that this kid saw something. I think sh I think Soji is- oh wait, that's Harada. Whoopsies. I think Soji has a point. But still, I'll do whatever Hijikata and Kondo tells me. Um, I, f I noticed that I made Soji, uh, Okita's and his voice sound alike. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it that way anyway. I think we ought to let him go. He doesn't know everything, you know. What do you mean, everything? I couldn't help but wonder aloud, and the mood in the room shifted to an icy silence. Shut it, Heisuke. Oops, my bad. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to say it like that, but well. Well, this is going to make it even harder for us to simply let you go. <laughs> A man should always be ready to face death. You should make your peace with your... What? I read it wrong by a while. A man? Oh, that's right. They still believe that I'm a boy. With everything else that had happened, I'd completely forgotten how I was dressed. Very true. A brave death is always an option. When I was young, I committed honorable suicide. I... It didn't really stick, though. It didn't really stick, though, did it, Sano? Their jokes were barbaric, but they both broke in a rock, raucous, raucous laughter. Commander, since we can't seem to reach a consensus, can I send the child back to his room? If you hear something you shouldn't while you're here, then we'll have no choice but to kill you. He was right. If I remained with them, then I could easily hear something that I wasn't supposed to. I didn't think he'd mention it for my sake, but rather as a possible concern for their group. I was still relieved when he brought it up. Indeed. Let's do that. Plus, there's something I want to look into. I agree. There are too many careless men here. Oh, come on, Sanin. Or Sanan, Sanin. Uh, what are you looking at me for? That ought to be pretty obvious. You're all guilty of being careless. Especially you, Heisuke. Hey, back off. It was just a mistake, alright? Man, I have to get used to trying to see all these names. Okay, who's who? <laughs> I could hear Toto's voice rise as everyone turned to look at him. He looked at them for a bit, then turned to me and mumbled in a voice I could barely hear. I I'm sorry. Hmm? I was still apprehensive about what they might do to me, so I couldn't quite respond to him well. But he seemed to understand, and I curtly managed to nod. It was the most I could manage. All right, Saito. Take care of the kid. Noted. 
shall do shall we go uh, all right warrior record has been unlocked interesting hmm. after returning to my room i'd spent some time reflecting upon my state and my stillbound hands ah <sighs> The rumors spoke of the Shinsengumi in a, in a, blah, 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 as vicious men, but they seemed more intimate human to me. Still, their presence or their being lingered through me, as if to say, we are not killers, but to protect our code, we must bring death. Remaining here is only bringing me closer to the possibility of them killing me. I don't know if I can convince them to spare me. Just as I have no loyalty to them, they have no loyalty to me. Only the Shinsengumi. But then... They mentioned a man must always be ready to face death. So are they still mistaking me for a man? Could I possibly risk exposing my true identity in exchange for mercy on my life? But this could just be eas This could just as easily backfire for me. And it could ex exact an even worse fate. I was truly at a loss for what to do. So, due to the fact that we are going to be doing hijikatas uh, route first, I am going to... Oh, can I save this? No, can I, can I, can I? I can, let's save. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to put this on... Hmm, I'll do it on two, three because I've got other stuff I need. We're going to find a way to escape. There is nothing for it. I had to try and escape. Meaning I needed to get moving immediately. Staying in this room did nothing to help me. Fortunately, they hadn't bothered to tie me up completely again. Only my hands were bound. That would slow me down, certainly. But so long as I could move my legs, I stood a chance. Alright, now the exit is... I cast my memory back to when they brought me into the building that the, the night before. <laughs> right. I'm sure it would work out. I stood up. Holding my breath, I edged toward the door. I knew it was rude, but I had no choice but to try and open the sliding door with my toe. But... Mm, I was almost there when suddenly it flew open, all on its own, revealing... Oi! Kondo. What? I stumbled straight into Kondo. Oh my. Well, that was rather bold. You were looking to escape, I assume. Um. Attempting to escape was unwise. It will only make your situation more difficult. His voice was calm and not unfriendly, but his eyes were frigid and calculating. He seems sus to me. I don't know about you, but I, I just feel like he seems sus. What is that noise? I keep hearing something over here. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's driving me nuts. It's definitely not my game. It's something in my room. Don't know what it is. Too late. I realized why they hadn't bothered to tie me up again. They'd been watching me. I told you once, and I won't do it again. Run, and I'll gut you. Sorry, but now we've got to kill you. We can't trust a kid who can't keep a promise. Okita smiled. He didn't look very sorry. I... We're gonna run for it. Run for it. I had no choice but to run. If I was going to die anyway, then I had nothing to lose by trying to escape. Slipping around a stunned condo, I took off down the hallway. Of course you get caught easily. Did you really think you could escape? Uh. He snatched me from the floor in one smooth motion with a cat-like grace. Uh, let me go. You think I'm stupid? You just try to run, no? But I don't want to die. And I... I... There's something I have to do. <laughs> and what's that, huh? What compels a girl to run around Kyoto pretending she's a boy? Huh? Did he just say... Girl? When I stopped flapping my feet and arms, Hijikata put me d back down on the floor. 
Um, sir? I looked up at Hijikata, and he did not seem happy at all. D did you just say girl? I was scared. There was no denying it. Sanan looked at us and nodded. I see. Then you really were a girl. Come on, you thought putting on a pair of pants was going to fool us? Even an idiot could tell. Wait, so all of you knew from the start? Was my disguise that unnatural? I wasn't quite sure what to think. Oh, Isuma, Isami, oh my god. Oh, Isami Kondo, you fool. This is the shame of a lifetime. How could I not have realized? Well, perhaps they hadn't all known. I confess his reaction put me more at ease. You also got killed for it. You, oh, not also. <laughs> you almost got killed for it. Whatever it is, maybe it's time you spilled your guts, kid. Oh, oh, interesting. I looked back at him and nodded. There I was, surrounded once again by the leaders of the Shinsengumi. I noticed you were rather slim, and your features were far too soft to be a man's, but to think you were a lady this whole time. Kondo was nodding his head repeatedly, as if he were agreeing with a very intelligent suggestion. For sure he noticed the softness of my features. It flattered me a bit. Once you know she's a girl... She really doesn't look like a boy at all, does she? So we bound her and left her for the whole night? Oh dear. Well, she claims to be a girl, but it's not like we have any actual proof, right? P proof Proof? Really not obvious enough for ya, huh? Alright, well, you feel better if I strip her down? No, absolutely will not. To hear you wait. No, you absolutely will not. To suggest such a thing is preposterous. I just figured it was the quickest way to settle this question, but I won't force it. Well, oh, what the frick am I doing? Well, if you really are a girl, then killing you would just feel kind of wrong. Why are you so naive? It doesn't matter if we have to kill her. She dies. Exactly. However, her gender, gender is irrelevant. Killing in general is wrong. We were organized to protect the citizens of Kyoto. We would ill serve the public good by murdering civilians in cold blood. Yeah, yeah. But if this girl or boy is a threat to the peace, that's a horse of a different color. The Shinsengumi had already suffered a very gruesome reputation in Kyoto. If rumors spread that their men were thirsty for blood, things weren't likely to go well for them. Kyoto would banish them, and with no one to protect the people, the city would erupt in chaos. Each of their members deeply understood the consequences of behaving rashly in these times. God, I love this boy. Those eyes are gorgeous. Anyway, sorry that was random. My apologies, but I took the liberty of checking through your belongings. It would be appear you came all the way from Edo by yourself. You didn't seem to have much. Some clothing, some pocket change, a few letters, and the sword. One of the letters was from Ryojun Matsumoto, a shogunate-approved doctor. I assumed you saw him. With what is your pers- What is your purpose? Chizuru, Chizuru Yukimura. Why can't I talk? The minute my name was spoken, the vibe in the room shifted immensely. Everyone wore a stunned expression, eyes wide, and no words were uttered in response until... Wait, Hijikata, that name. Hey, no. It can't be a coincidence. Now wait a moment. We only need to determine if you are a threat. Will you tell us your side of the story? At Kondo's behest, I stood up and spoke. My name is Chizuru Yukimura. 
During the watchful eyes of the leader, under the watchful eyes of the leaders, I sharply described how I came to face them, how I lived in Edo, how I'd come to Kyoto to find my father, how lonely the city felt before I arrived. Oh, then you, you're from Edo as well, and you came all the way to Kyoto to find your father. So, who is your father? My father is Kodo Yukimura. So the dots are connected. What are you talking about? The handwriting within the letter does indeed match Kodo's, but... To think you were Dr. Kodo's daughter. You know my father? The silence was enough to tell me that the, the revelation of my parent... <laughs> the silence was enough to tell me that the revelation of my parentage caused a pronounced change in their behavior. So I am going to let this go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!